right, most people in Puerto Rico still don't have power and food and safe water are dwindling fast. Governor Scott just declared a state of emergency today to help get more resources to the island. But it's very difficult to get life-saving supplies into people's hands. Wink News anchor Brittany McDonald explains why and how you can help. People are running on empty in terms of supplies. And people like Representative Heather Fitzenhagen are trying to help. The areas that are in real trouble over here, Aguadilla. The donations are pouring in. The problem now is getting them to Puerto Rico. It takes um, kind of a, a lot of forethought. Fitzenhagen says supplies need to be organized on pallets, labeled and designated to a person or organization. If they aren't, there's a high likelihood that they can be confiscated when they reach Puerto Rico by someone else that might decide that they want to allocate them in the way they want to. Once they're on the island, having someone there to facilitate the distribution is key. Fuel and truck shortages as well as security issues are concerns. Every 24 hour increment is literally uh, just a, a ticking time bomb of problems that are going to ensue if we don't get them help. In Fort Myers, Brittany McDonald, Wink News, now. President Trump is expected to visit the island tomorrow to survey the damage. Coming up at 5, find out how a local business owner is sending donations to Puerto Rico and ensuring they get to the people in need. A man accused